welcome to this video my name is Anishka Gandhi and in today's video I'm going to discuss about this most asked question which I've been identifying on most of my videos especially my college and um, healthcare administration course video wherein people have been asking about their courses and what the job outcomes would be how the part-time job opportunities are in Kitchener Waterloo region or um, what they could expect from their diploma courses if diploma courses are good enough so these are all the questions which i've been coming across recently and i thought i should sit down and make a video instead of replying to each one of them well i've tried replying to most of you guys but if i've missed you don't worry i'll get back to you very soon but this video is surely going to help you if you're one of those who have asked me those questions even if you're not and if you have the same um, questions same queries going on in your mind um, before getting into this country or before enrolling for these courses diploma courses this video is for you so stay tuned until the end now before we begin with this video just subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already because if you are an international student or an immigrant here in Canada this channel is going to be very helpful for you and that's a promise so Without wasting any further time now, let's get started with this video. So when it comes to the diploma courses in Canada, may it be an undergrad diploma or a post-graduation diploma, we always are very doubtful. We have this second thought all the time whether or not this course is going to give you adequate knowledge necessary to help you fetch a good job, uh, whether or not it's going to help you get your permanent residency in Canada, will you get a knock level job. All of these concerns are pretty much understood. But I also want to break this myth here that diploma courses are definitely worthy they are going to give you good education they will help you find a good job only if you use it likewise for example I have come from a healthcare background I've come from a I've done my diploma in healthcare administration and service management not everyone in my batch could find a job related to this this field only those who who have been using these skill sets, the one which we learned in our diploma, in order to find the field jobs, were able to actually seek a real-time job. So what I want to see say here is that it doesn't mean it doesn't depend on which college you're learning into or what course that would be. For example, if a person is doing a project management course in a in a certain college, say Conestoga College. You, it doesn't mean that you would get a job 100%, but that also doesn't mean that you would not get a job. It totally depends upon your approach. Now, if there's a person um, who has already had an experience, a past experience of working as a project manager, has come here, done the diploma in project management, it's always going to be easy for that person to find a real-time jo job in the Canadian job market given his past experience but if you're someone who is a fresher who has no idea what management is no matter how much how good the course is no matter how much it's going to teach you about managing skills about project management in real time it would surely going to be difficult for you to fetch a good job at first place I wouldn't say you would not find a job with diploma course I wouldn't say you're uh, your course would be bad or this course is good or this is not what I mean to say here is your you, it also depend on what you bring to the job there are plenty of jobs available like I always say in most of my videos there has been no time that I was not able to find a job there are plenty of jobs available all throughout Canada it just depends upon what skills or uh, what do you bring to the job because what you know when it comes to hiring a person they would probably not hire a person who has got zero job experience and just a degree so when it comes to having you know when it comes to looking for um, courses here maybe diploma course bachelor's course master's course the person who's going to hire you is probably not going to see you where you're coming from, whether you've done a master's, whether you've done a bachelor's or you've done a diploma. What they want to know is what do you have, their job requirements and what you are providing. That has to match and that is all what matters. 
Now, the second thing which I would like to mention about is people have been asking if they'd be able to find a job for that particular field. The best thing to do is not rely upon someone else's opinion. If you ask me, I would probably say, yes, you can find a job, but you never know what the reality is, right? So instead of trusting someone else, what the easiest thing you could do is go back on your website, on your college website, go search for your course, see what all they're going to cover in the course curriculum. Go back on indeed.ca or Job Bank Canada. Check for jobs which are related to this field. Find out how many job postings are there on a daily basis or a monthly basis. That's how you're going to identify if that particular degree or that particular course is in demand. If people have been looking to hire such people who have completed those courses or people with that designation. You can also find the pay scale on there so that they you'll it will help you identify if that pay is what you're looking for in your jobs or in your career besides that if you're coming from a whole different background for example people people coming from a clinical background are just looking for admin administrative jobs here uh, sorry administrative diploma courses here just to enroll just to get into canada but their ulterior motive is to get their licensing done for example someone who's done physiotherapy in india wants to come here just for administrative courses just to enter into this country eventually their motive is to get their licensing cleared and work as a physiotherapist Sim similarly nurses dentists or general practitioners then i think your concern should not be whether or not this co course is going to fetch you a good job all what you care about is to focus on your licensing so i think every person has got their own priority and that's how you should work upon it now there is one more question which I have come across is are there good part-time job opportunities? Now what I realize is part-time jobs are literally everywhere in Canada. I mean it, there's no place wherein you would not find a grocery store, you would not find a restaurant or you would not find say um, a departmental store or, or just a food snack uh, store or probably a remote you know, these days I've been I, I, I've been understanding that there are a lot of remote working options available in Canada, which were very rare to find in the past. But recently they've been hiring a lot of customer support representatives or, you know, or people with good efficiency of working on computers. They can find remote part time jobs. You can work around the schedule, work around your college schedule and find these jobs very easily on indeed.ca kgg these are like the sites where you would find plenty of part-time jobs available so if you're someone who's worried if you'd be able to collect your fees if you'd be able to find your jobs that would help you suffice your daily needs you need not worry about it honestly your worry at the moment should only be that you'll be leaving your family away and coming to a new whole new country so if you're having all those doubts just rest assured uh i think that's everything which I wanted to cover. So I think that's all about today's video. If you have any questions or if you want to know anything about anything, just comment down below and I'll, my, I'll try my level best to get back to you on that or provide you with my insights on that particular topic. We'll see you back in my next video. Until then, goodbye.